Okay, welcome back. We've got uh, part three of our E3 special. Um, Jamie C here, still with Ben. Yeah! Uh, Johnny. What's up, people? What's up, people? <laughs> <laughs> and Gianni, of course. Hey, guys. <laughs> We're still surviving. Yeah. We're doing part three. Yeah. Part three. Nine, uh, part three. 9.3. 9.3. Because it is E3, we're doing a little special. So um, we're just going to finish things up tonight then with uh, with Nintendo. And then, uh, then we're going to summarise the whole event and just talk about maybe our game of show and see how it goes. Sounds yeah. like a plan, man. See how it goes. But yeah, uh, Nintendo decided they were going to be a bit different this year. Haven't actually given us a, a conference. They've given us a Nintendo Direct. As they do, that's their new thing. They like to go hide a little Iwata away in a box. Some of their Nintendo getting... Direct stuff's really cool, though, man. So long, yeah. as, well, so long as there's enough Reggie, Iwata, and Shigeru in it, man, I am up for anything they want to give me. Coming directly to you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, today they've they've done it just before the show floor goes live. Get out of there so that they can have all these games playable and, on the day as well. Um, I took over the Twitter feed. I went a bit crazy with it. I know you guys were out. You were at work, uh, so you weren't able to catch catch it live. Um, but I'm hoping if we're going to talk about it now, you've caught some of the trailers, right? Yeah, I think I've gone back and watched most of all the stuff. That's okay. interesting. But yeah, it was before I go into detail with what they had. It was fast paced. Um, yeah, they were going through them really quick. Yeah, the trailers are all pretty short, so. Uh... It must have been and there was no bad. pause. There was no pause. It was like, okay, here's this, and then then here's this, and you know they didn't really stop. There was no when you've got somebody on stage at a conference, they've got to show it to you or they've got to discuss it. But this was just like, I'm going to show you trailers. And you're going to like it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they opened up nicely enough. They opened up with Pokemon. They gave us a new gameplay trailer for that. Yep, I watched to catch that one. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, looks great. I'm ready. I'm ready. So. For it. Pokemon Poke Dogs as well. Yeah. Poke Dogs, <laughs> yeah. I could probably well, what's do... it called? It's like Pokemon Amia. Is no, it? Poke, Poke Dogs is better. We're just going to keep calling it Poke Dogs. <laughs> Poke Dogs. It's yeah, not... Poke Dogs is the official, unofficial title. Pokemon, Pokemon, um, Pokemon, a Poke You, a Poke Me. Pocahontas. <laughs> Pocahontas. <laughs> 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 but it is basically a, it's a Tamagotchi Nintendo side of the Pokemon games. Um, I'm sure a lot of little Japanese kids are going to use that heavily. Oh, um, is it not? So that's not part of the game. It's like an add-on. No, it is it's part of the game. the game. It's in the game. It's you keep your Pokemon happy by feeding them little like macaroons and by feeding it puffins. Feeding it puffins. Yeah, puffins. Oh, you feed puffins. With puffins. <laughs> <laughs> I need nourishment. <laughs> <laughs> and you also copy its face. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so like, some Pikachu could... might want you to, yeah, make you open your mouth or tilt your head to the side. And it makes them happy when you copy Reggie it. Reggie might want you to open your mouth too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking if a goatee would work. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> 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 Take that, Pikachu. <laughs> Hey you, Pikachu! <laughs> Your move, bitch! The piles fall out like a jigglypuff. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a nice segue. Fairy type. Fairy. T- <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You can tell it's late now. You can tell we're on the last. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so oh, fairy type. Fairy type is the twentieth type, right? It's eighteenth type, isn't it? Eighteenth? Is it like twenty fifth? Twentieth. Well, yeah. So Let's say eighteen. Very strong against dragons, obviously. Yes. And we don't know what fairy's weak against, <clears throat> but um, yeah, it looks good. Uh, battles look fun. Um, yeah, I'm interested. I mean, I'm going to get it regardless. Did you show- of the- did they show anything new that we didn't see in the previous trailers? Because I haven't actually watched this one yet. So. Well, they've shown just a lot more about what the game's about. They've shown the battles properly, like you walking in grass and, you know, the transition into battles really quick and snappy. It's good. All yeah, the right. battle animation. Yeah, the, it's yeah, it's not static. It's uh, 
And the thing I was a little bit disappointed about is um, Pokemon still make the beepity dot noises when they get sent out. So they still don't. They don't say their name. No, it's still like. <laughs> so. Um, Does it still sound like it's like made from a chipboard? Or no, it's well, the older gen Pokemon still do, I think. But um, I guess the newer gen Pokemon will have a slightly better sound bite. But uh, yeah, otherwise it looks great. Looks like a Pokemon game. Um, they gave us a date now as well, October twelfth, oh, worldwide. 12th. Worldwide, fantastic! I can't. That's wait. what we like to see. Yeah, it was. It's going to look great on my uh, Monster Hunter Four 3DS XL. Because <laughs> 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 that looks really good. Yeah, no, super excites. But yeah, um, like I say, blasting through them. They didn't even give me a chance to really write up on that one, but they'd gone straight into a new Mario. Now, I. I know in my dream reveals and likely reveals, I was talking about having a 3D Mario hub and going back to a game like Mario 64. But unfortunately, they've given me Mario 3DS Land, but on the Wii U. Yeah, they have. Pretty much. So I'm a little disappointed in that sense. It's Mario, so I'm going to play it. I'm going to buy it. (laughs) I'm going to love it, no matter what. You know? It's good because, well, Mario 3DS Land was a great game. But 100% added cats, man. Yeah. The cats out of the bag. (laughs) <laughs> oh dear! Oh. That was fucking terrible. <laughs> oh, God. So, Gianni, did you catch the trailer? For this um, no. <laughs> right, I did. Okay. So, to, so to fill you in, then the the they're playing through this one like it's Mario 3DS Land. It's very similar. A lot of the oh. colours palette and the yeah, the top animation. down camera. But they but they're using enemies from the Mario Two from the NES. They're using a similar sort of like system in that sense, but then that ties in because your characters are going to be Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Princess Peach, and they're all playable. Okay, the game wait. So we're talking as a multiplayer. Uh, so like shy guys and stuff like that. Well, I haven't seen those so far, but I've seen. You, do you remember those little mice bandit ones that throw the bombs? Oh, similar yeah. enemies yeah. to those. Yeah. So um, I think we're going to see. And Yoshi's something. been turned into like a water dragon. Yeah, what the hell was that? What the hell was that, man? That was a Dragonite in the water. Yeah, fairy type. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> that was Dragonite Dad. He gave him a lift and they didn't say thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it looks weird. But no, it looks good. But hey, if if the cat idea adds a new a new style, I'm up for it. Because they don't disappoint. When Mario introduces something new, it's always good. Even yeah. the Bumblebee. When I first did that in the Mario Galaxy, I was like, "What the fuck is this going to be?" And it was, it was fun. It was, it was good. It worked. So they know what they're doing. Leave yeah. them to it. We're getting that one for Christmas, so I'm happy about that. Okay, cool. But yeah, um, Mario Kart though. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's definitely the best looking thing I've seen from Nintendo. Mm, it's looking visually really it's smart, um, but they're adding. They're going with Mario Kart Eight as the title. They got their little, you know, figure eight racetrack as the logo. Oh, um, they're adding anti gravity mechanics, allowing I think, the race to open on. Yeah, this is finally the big shake up that it needed because it was getting a little bit stale. And I think all of the possibilities were like going upside down on the side of the wars and shit. It's basically, you know, Sonic transforms. Sort of, you know, it's sort of the counter to that. Like, well, you know, you can fly and gun boats and shit. Well, now you can ride upside down on roads. So other than that stuff, they didn't really elaborate on much else. They've kept it quite hush. You know, they've only really shown off the characters you'd expect to see. So I'd like to see that come about soon as well. We hear about a good new roster and some people that we've not played as before. Because the 3DS version brought in, like, the Wiggler and stuff, didn't it? And Hmm. I actually, I actually didn't play it, so you're going to have to explain to me what a wiggler is, man. It's probably the giant what I'm imagining thing. right now, <laughs> to no. be honest. The giant, you know, the giant Mario What? On the what head. You know the caterpillar when you stand on its head and it gets angry? The wriggler thing? Yeah, I know what you're oh, about. Okay, that thing. Yeah. yeah. It was one of those in Mario Kart 7. Screw Mario Kart 7, it's the weakest one. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, that's where they need to move on, isn't it? Because, like I say, it's the worst one for me. They need to get back to their 
to, to a strong gameplay and add in some new ideas, such yeah. as this anti-gravity and all the racing upside down, and give it a go. Yeah, looks what about good. Shy Guy as a, as a character? I really want Shy Guy as a character. <laughs> mm, because in the DS version, if you played multiplayer with one cartridge, everybody, yeah. every other character that played had to be a Shy Guy. Yeah. So people just like wanted to do that on purpose. Yeah. Shy Guy's amazing. <laughs> but yeah. So I'd imagine we'll hear a lot more of that in the coming months. It's not... And that's not our next year. Spring next year, yeah. yeah. So there's, there's still time. So they, they're giving us Mario this year, and that's pretty much where they're happy to be, I guess. Um, they did a little bit of filler. I'm not really bothered about that stuff, like Wii Party and all of those things. Um, but then they did touch on the Miiverse and how they were really impressed with all the drawing. Um, so what they're going to do is they're going to bring our Academy to the, to the Wii U. But they're also going to start, over the summer, they're going to start putting some of those elements into the Miiverse and start giving you the option to draw on Miiverse in pencils and paints and things like that just to just to open that up a bit because the skills on there are, are incredible. Yeah, really good. The practical, the practical application for the Defoeverse, man, is uh, <laughs> <laughs> tantalizing. Uh, I was waiting for someone to mention that. <laughs> yeah, so basically on the Raving Rabbids... US. on the American board, yeah. Yeah, on the American board. It's basically taken over by pictures of Willem Dafoe. Um, <laughs> I contributed, so I can't really say anything. It's pretty funny. You should check it out, guys. It's pretty good. <laughs> I've had like 30 years on my picture as well. Oh, I, I need to see it, man. People, people really love that Willem Dafoe verse, man. <laughs> I love Dafoe verse. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. Um, they continue with the... the, the little montage of third party stuff and one thing that snuck in there that i wasn't even aware of um is that ninja b is a world of keflings is coming to the wii u eShop. oh that cool and i'm a big fan of world of keflings and kingdom of keflings so i'm definitely picking that one up as well hmm. wait definitely keflings is coming to the eShop. yeah for the wii u yeah i thought that was like a microsoft exclusive it's a ninja b right. thing so i don't know they must have had an exclusivity deal well, yeah, they snuck that in there. It's just in the video, the little montage they did. Yes, nice. that's pretty. Yeah, cool. that would be nice. Oh, no, I actually haven't played that game, so I don't know. I think that would suit the Wii U actually quite well. Could be good with the Wii pad. You could use the map on the pad and inventory. Yeah, it could could do could do Speaking the trick. Speaking of maps and inventory, Wind Waker HD. I was waiting. I was just going to say, what link are you doing there? What link? Oh. So they disappoint. They didn't give us any news, Alda. Yeah, uh, very disappointing. I thought that to would bed be earlier. Big... It would have been nice to just even see a title made up for it or something. Just a title. Yeah, card. yeah. I was, I was saying like the um, the show, the show floor demo, like the tech demo they had, where they were showing the fight against that spider thing, when they were changing the time of day and stuff to show that it was all in engine. Um, I would have preferred if they'd have just made a trailer out of that. Like cut together some cinematic camera angles and said it's coming. Like rather than giving me nothing, I just want to know that it's coming. You know, because I mean, how hard are they working on this Wind Waker HD port? It can't be because the game is done. They're just upresing stuff. I mean, it can't. They don't need a whole you know team to do that. I don't think so. They're obviously working on it. It would have been nice just to have a little something to but show. Do you think? Just thinking about it now. Maybe they're trying to build more anticipation for it because it's, it's real disappointing and probably one of my biggest disappointments at E3. Mm. But do you think maybe they're going to wait because you've got the two consoles at the moment and they they thought, well, we don't really want to compete with them, so we'll hold back on the Zelda because I can't imagine that they don't, they wouldn't, if they had, you know, there must be a good reason why they didn't show anything. That's not like Nintendo, especially with Zelda, they always want to throw it out. Yeah, I guess maybe they want to get rid of... They want to put out Wind Waker first. So people are like, yeah. oh, yeah, Zelda. And then like, oh, yeah, by the way, we've got the new then, one coming next year. And then the other Zelda announcement, which we'll touch on later. But, yeah. Maybe maybe they're thinking about... It. It's got to be special, the new Zelda. Mm. I think it will be. Nice. Yeah. So then, yeah, Jimmy, carry on. Um, so they didn't do anything with Pikmin, but they did show a lot more of the one for 101 and start talking about the way that's going to control. Um, 
it's a bit different to what I'd expected. Um, it is a Pikmin style game, but you're going to mm. be using the gamepad to to power up your your little superheroes, and you end up turning them into like a giant sword uh, nice. to battle your enemies and so on. So yeah, that I think that could be quite a strong game. Yeah, I don't think it'll sell too well, but I think it'll be a game that's really appreciated. Yeah, it's not too. I'm quite nothing excited. too crazy. I'm interested in what it's going to be like, man. I, I think I'd like to see it in action before I picked it up, though, to be honest. But, I mean, yeah. you said you were going to pick it up, right? I will want to get that one, yeah. So it's in August. I definitely, I definitely want to check it out. So if I can see it through you, that would be awesome. Yeah, of course. I'll try and get that one for launch, and we'll be able to do a little bit of discussion on that one. Cool. Um, right. Disappointment. In, in the shape of, of what Retro have been working on them. Because we were expecting that to be a Metroid, or even a new IP, but it turns out it's a new Donkey Kong 2D platformer. So disappointed. I really wanted a, a, a new Metroid. Really like, wanted a new Metroid. The way I feel about the Donkey Kong 2D games was nothing compared to how disappointed I was to find out that it was them and that's what they've been putting their time into. You know? So if it had been somebody else doing it, I might have not been too bothered. But this is just like, oh, go away. Go away. Actually, go away. But yeah, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, not really bothered. Dixie's back as a playable character, if you care about that stuff. <laughs> I mean, how much how much time and resources could they actually put towards it? I mean, if it, uh, out of all the tracks, that's probably the most worn one. It's a horrible game. I just ah, oh, I've got no sorry. If it like you say, if it had been, <laughs> if they come out with like a reboot of DK sixty four, I would have been happy. Yeah, I would have loved it. Just start that rap that. and just yeah. share some good. Ah, oh, I would have been all over that. Because you can HD can Wind that. Waker, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. It's just ah, oh. but no, yeah, disappointing. A couple of other little bits left, but you guys seen the Bayonetta two trailer now? Yeah. Yep. I love. I love it. Like, that game is so unashamed. Like, the first thing you see of her in the trailer is a pussy shot, man. Amazing. That's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. They don't care, man. What does she say? Who gave you permission to look or something? Or who, there's no, no one said you No one said you could touch. No one said you could touch. <laughs> like, a <open laughs> pussy shot, man. Love it. Fucking platinum, man. <laughs> cool guys. Yeah. Looks good. It looks really good. A lot of new... Uh, yeah. New stuff. And tip of the hat as well. Tip of the hat to Platinum for keeping it exclusive on Nintendo and n- not letting all the pressure get to them Rayman style. Tip mm. of the hat to Nintendo for actually fronting the money to get it made. Well, yeah, all right. Keep it locked down, yeah. To keep it locked down in the first place. it's it's It feels, it feels like old school Nintendo, doesn't it, having a game like this about, but in recent memory, you would think it was quite out of place. But no, I'm happy to see this on the Wii U. Oh. Be, yeah, it'd be good. Looks really good, um, Johnny. You you hundred percented Bayonetta one, didn't you? I absolutely loved it, man. I really enjoyed Bayonetta one. Such a great combat system. I'm surprised you're not more hyped to get into Bayonetta two. Uh, I would be if I had a Wii U. Like if but, you already had access to it. Yeah, if I had a Wii U, I'd be super. Because yeah, let. I loved Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 looks fantastic so I mean it will happen eventually I, I will get a Wii U like when the new Zelda and Smash Bros and the new Mario Galaxy game comes out I'll be all over it so it'll be something that I'll eventually play, uh, play. so I'm, I'm excited for it just not overly because I won't get to play it <laughs> straight away uh-huh. but I'm jealous of anyone who does are you getting it Jay do you reckon or I, I would like to pick up Bayonetta 2 you just got to see where the release schedule falls and what else is around the same time yeah, At the moment, year, it just launches it? to uh, yeah, 2014. That's it. Yeah. So, ah, good, good stuff. And then, and then, Max versus Monsters. What is this? Yeah, it looks fantastic. So at the moment, it's just like X, isn't it? It's just code named as X. Yeah. There's no, means. there's no title right now. But yeah, that changed because this is the guys who would have done the Xenoblade, right, from the Wii. Yeah, and Z- right? Zeno Saga previously to that as well. Mm-hmm. I played a little bit of Zeno Blade. I couldn't get over the the ridiculous jump, but it looked really good. No, it, was, it was really fun. Yeah, I, I played quite yeah. a bit of that game. It was good. Do you, 
You didn't complete it, yeah? No, I, I didn't finish it because uh, I got sidetracked with Monster Hunter Try, uh, which I started playing around the same time. I see. I should do. Yeah, I should do. Monster Hunter's kind of a time hog, man. Like, it just wants all of your time. So, I stopped playing it for that. But it, it, was, it was really fun. It was a good game. I don't think it was as good as um, Xenosaga, the games before. Uh, Xenosaga 2 I really enjoyed uh, and that was mech focused as well so I, yeah the gameplay looks really good though right of this one it looked it looked fun man the trailer basically as soon as I saw that guy walking through the lobby with a load of mechs I was like well I really want to play this game already I'm easy man show me a giant robot and I'll probably buy your game like simple really <laughs> Did you go see Real Steel on the opening day at the cinema? No, but I can't <laughs> wait for Pacific Rim. Yes, oh, guys, we're doing that. For Pacific Rim. <laughs> we are going to watch that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, well, they finished on Smash Bros. We knew that was coming. We knew we were seeing that. Yep. But uh, we didn't see anything. Well, we saw 3DS and Wii U gameplay. The 3DS has a more of a cartoony black line like around the character. Street Fighter 4 almost with that charcoal yeah. style edging. Um, I think sure. I was most... I, I got really happy when there was the, the win, uh, Zelda Phantom Tracks or whatever that one was called. No, what's it called? Spirit Tracks. Spirit Tracks, yeah. When there's the train level, I, I don't know why, that just really set me off. Yeah, I was really too, happy actually. with that. I was really... Mm. Yeah. Nice good. little touch. Because he's in the front as a train conductor. Yeah. <laughs> he's in there. Um, so, at the time... Earlier today, we we see two new characters yeah. um, because it opens up as if it's going to be Animal Crossing on the Wii U. That's what it yeah. looked like, and you think, "Oh, great! All right, it's going to tie in." They've been keeping that secret, and then he gets the invite for the Smash Bros. tournament or whatever. Brilliant! Yeah. So you've got him in there, and then Mega Man as well. He looks which I wa- which yeah I, like. yeah I watched the trailer. It was amazing. See, I haven't seen the trailer yet, right? But I'm imagining he plays similarly to Samus. Yeah, he's got like the uh, the he can shoot the little energy balls, or he can charge it up for a big shot. But he's also got yeah. a lot of his powers from the games. So like he can throw like these metal discs. He's, he can like change his arms in, into like these fire things and put them on the ground and shoot up. He's uh, I highly recommend. He's got a lot of different abilities, so it's worth yeah. watching the, uh, the trailer. I'm not a huge Mega Man uh, like fan, so I don't know. If, what they all called or what they are, but well, yeah, check it out. Like, sounds like Metal Blades, which is like, did he fire out some circular saws? Yeah, yeah. So that's like the Metal Blade powers. Um, he uh, hit Mario, and some coins fell out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then Link blocked it. The other one with his shield. Link looks yeah. a bit strange. Do you reckon it's the Link from the new uh, the new Zelda game? Oh, don't even think about that. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch the trailer now. Mm-hmm. Hidden messages, man. Yeah, Hidden maybe messages. that's what I thought. I was like, oh, it looks a little bit different. Maybe it's new. Yeah. Uh, uh, but since surprised they didn't go with the Skyward Sword link. Well, they did with the last. No, wait, no, that was uh. That would have been the princess. Off. Yeah. 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 yeah so check out. He onto something there, mate. Yeah, he looks a little, little bit different. They've um they've added another character or they've announced another character though since, and that's the Wii Fit trainer. What? Uh, yeah, the Wii Fit Trainer is going to be playable in, in Smash Bros. Yeah, so, that's a thing. It's hard to say it with a straight face, but um, but no, it's going to be it's, that's just going to be a funny addition. Why not? Mr. Game and Watch was playable. Yeah, what I'm what I'm thinking is, um, are they going to bring back Snake or is Mega Man replacing Snake? And well, Sonic... they were talking about not letting it get too gimmicky and remembering that it's a Nintendo product at heart, so they didn't want to bring back Snake and Sonic if it jeopardised oh, that. So something. Sonic... I thought Sonic would be back in it, at least, because yeah. Nintendo have got this big partnership going on, so I was hoping Sonic at least would be They in. may still both be in there, but we'll... Maybe not Snake, because... The website's gone live today, so they're going to keep that updated. Maybe it'll be Snake from MGS5 with Keith Are you Sunderland serious? Boxing. Are you... The Wii Fit Trainer? What?! Yeah, it's like he just didn't believe us. He had to go look for it. Yeah. Hey, that's a slow reaction. <laughs> I, I just left for me to shave. The, the fucking Wii Fit trick. I didn't even know what to say to that. Yeah. Do you think maybe mm. of all the other characters that could be in that game, they put the Wii Fit trainer in there? Well, I'm still holding out for Goku. <laughs> That'd be cool. It would be good. It would be good. But that was it. 
that was the disappointment that was today's Nintendo Direct. I say disappointment, they didn't give me what I fucking wanted, so it's a disappointment. No, they yeah. said some cool stuff. I mean, it wasn't going to match Sony's or Microsoft's, like, look at all of our brand new games, look how shiny they are. They were just like, oh, we're, d- we're doing more Mario, we're doing more Mario Kart. But that's, that's they, why you um, buy a Nintendo console, man, for those games. Mm. It's yeah, a real you shame. Talk about a console with exclusives. Nintendo oh. have the best exclusives out of the three. Yeah, it's just the Wii did so well. Like that, you know, everyone had a Wii. It's but cheaper though, wasn't it? The yeah, Wii U had the is right price point. It's been like seven years, and I still giggle. Fuck's sake! <laughs> you bastard! Grow up! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Wii U. Um. um yeah, sorry, Gianni, go for it. What was that yellow thing at the end of the Smash Bros. trailer? It was a, yeah, like a boss big, being built. Big yellow monster, but he's got no face. There's no face. No I wasn't face. paying attention at that point, probably. I'll have to go back and rewatch. It's literally right at the end, um, but yeah, I've just seen it, it just flashed up now. But yeah, anyway, go on. <laughs> but no. I'll come back to that then. I'll have a look, find out more. I'll investigate. <laughs> I'll investigate. Um, Nintendo done. Sony done. Microsoft done. All of it done. Done. As done. far as the actual conferences and displays go, we've only got show floor now. Um, we might still get some surprises. So I guess we'll do the scorecards officially next week, right? Yeah, yeah, that, we, that we works do. Out well. Yeah, but if we um. If you want to finish on this bit, then do we want to maybe just look at picking a game of show? Sure, of us? between us. Yeah, or... like what's what's or each of us. What really? Just finish on this. What really has been the standout game for you? Me uh, personally, mm-hmm. I well, mine. It's got to be Kingdom Hearts three, just because how much I love that series and how long I've been waiting for it. But honor, honor, honorable mention to the. Uh, the division as well so that's me yeah for me um purely of what they've shown and how excited it is, it's got me at 15 um just what they've shown um it oh. looks absolutely fantastic and my honorable mention will be the, the yeah the, the uh, division as well because that looks great that's mine uh, gianni for me uh I think Final Fantasy Fifteen is uh, is great. But I what think what had the huh? What did I think, Karen? Yeah, um, I didn't watch it. <laughs> um, Battlefield Four had that wow factor in the multiplayer, um, and for me that edges it. I, 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 it feels a bit weird saying that, but I'd have to say that that's uh, Battlefield Four for me. Um, cool. Yeah. Good stuff. What about you then, Jay? Me, again. I think we're all just really happy with the division, right? That was... Yeah. That was something else. I'm going to go and watch it again after this. I'm excited by the possibilities of that game, I think, more yeah. than anything. I think because it's built for us, like, we can easily just party up a slot, then just, like, oh. exploring this world and then putting in some noobs. Mm. Other than that, though, I'm... Just, I guess, more because I'm sad to see it be this way, but just Dead Rising 3 being exclusive to Xbox One oh, that really doesn't you. stop it. No, it, it just the game itself, though, looks fantastic, and I'm really impressed with what they showed off. Yeah, Super Jellies. Because that could be it for me. That could be one of the best games on show. Like I say, Division will be a standout title, and I'm excited about the prospects, but Dead Rising 3, you know, teaching an old dog new tricks, that one, so, that's something... What what you should take from that is, individually, we all like different games, but we agree that The Division is some fucking good shit, man. That's going to be, yeah. Check out. Fantastic. Mm. Definitely. But yeah. Good. So it was good. All right. Um, All things considered, then, what... Who obviously I I don't think you could argue that Sony had the best press conference of the three, right? Like yeah, that that's not I. I guess you could debate it. It would be a losing team. battle. Um, who do we think came out on top between Microsoft and Nintendo? 
Mm. I, don't, I don't even think they're in the same game anymore. Yeah. I think it's completely different. Not even trying to compete. I think it's different things now. Yeah, it's, it's, he's right. Yeah, okay. Nintendo who's, doing their own thing, aren't they? Whose press conference did you enjoy most overall? For me, Sony's. They just they, they they were talking to the gamers. They were talking to us. Like we've heard your concerns of everything, and this is what we're doing about it. Yeah, and, I think they show doing... Kingdom Hearts three. They've really. They, I mean, they played a lot of fan service, but it se- but it all seems a bit genuine. Um, uh, as you know, they've even Final Fantasy fourteen. They've gone back and redone it from the ground up, basically. Um, you know that that just shows their dedication to get something right. They could have just gone as a flop. Let's just ignore it. But they've actually gone, and you know, and it's those little things that they're the ones that that's what wins over fans. I mean that that was Square Enix more than Sony, but don't worry about that. Sorry, oh fucking hell, yeah. I'm, I'm too tired, man. <laughs> we love you, Jenny. We really do. No, I just I didn't even re- I didn't realize it. <laughs> 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 Jay, what, what about you, man? What was your favourite press conference, all in all? I think Sony knew what to say. And whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, it shows that they've done their work and they've done their research. And they, I think, I think they care. I'd like to see it that way. Mm. Rather than it just thinking they're giving us what they want and they're just playing it crafty, I would rather it be that they've, they've gone out there with the intention of... of, of of changing themselves and making themselves better. Totally. Um, I, mean, I enjoyed some elements of what Ubisoft were doing, but otherwise Sony, yeah, Sony for me. Yeah, straight up, man. Um, did If the last five minutes of the Sony press conference didn't happen, I might have been torn between them and Ubisoft, but that whole section at the end where they just went for Microsoft's jugular just took mm-hmm. it for me, man. It was awesome. Yeah. Definitely. They was basically the, the Call of Duty dog, weren't they? Just tearing <laughs> up the... Uh... <laughs> uh, it's going to be an interesting Christmas. Are we getting that Mario game at Christmas? The Mario 3D Land one will be for December, yeah. The dogs or cats, guys? I don't know. Make your choice. <laughs> yeah, Mario Cat or Cod Dog. Cod Dog. Or Battlefield <laughs> Buildings. <laughs> Hard one. It's going to be good. Or Bayonetta's Vagina. Oh, I know which one yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 great. Oh. I'm not right. Oh, you, so yeah, I know which one I'm picking. <laughs> Finish this, Ben. We've given yeah. people too much to listen to. We've rambled okay, on. Well, it, yeah. It, fucking hell, it is quite late, isn't it? Jesus Christ. All right. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for listening to our E3 rambles and our uh, thoughts Cheers, on the uh, press conferences altogether. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Thank you. And no, thank you. Always. Yeah, thank you. Live streaming the press conferences with me. That was fun. Very. Thanks for being on top of the, the Twitter account as well, because I did none of that. That was all you guys. It's all right. Yeah, you got out of that one, didn't you? <laughs> we tried. <laughs> Thank God. I, um, well, I guess we'll end by doing some plugs. Uh, Johnny, is there anything you want to plug? Uh, well, Nick's here has just uploaded a video to YouTube. Um, another Diablo 3 hardcore veteran playthrough. So, is he yeah, go finally, watch that. finally got his character back in order then? Yeah, he's finally started again, so that's going to be fun to watch. I'll watch that. Um, yeah, and then once everything calms down, been really busy, but definitely want to get some more Vita stuff. Like recorded, like I said, I've got half of it done actually. So, right. yeah, fantastic, cool, cool. Uh, uh, any anything else that either of the rest of you want to mention? We're going to see Man of Steel at the weekend. We are going to oh, see Man of Steel at the weekend. Oh, we can do a spoiler cast for that. I want to. If I can, if I can get you all free for twenty minutes afterwards, I definitely do want to do a spoiler cast for it. Yeah, see how it goes. Yeah. Unless it's shit, in which case I won't. But I'm pretty sure it's not no, shit. It's those trailers. Yeah, we could rip yeah. the shit out of it otherwise. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> okay, cool. Steel. Um, well, if you want to get in touch with us, you can tweet us at GSC underscore games on Twitter. 
Uh, if you want to get in touch with any of us specifically, you can reach me at xwgxlauchi on Twitter. You can reach Johnny at j-i-y-o-n-i underscore d-e-s-u. Sweet. You can reach Janny at g5-p-a-g. Cool. And you can reach Jamie at jamie underscore Connolly. Can't spell it for you. Yeah, that's... Uh, no, screw that. J-A-I-M-E. That's the one. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna change my Twitter tag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not private anymore because I've stopped saying nasty things about my employers. <laughs> <laughs> Can they not go back to your previous tweet? Oh, they could, but it's too much work. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, Delete. Brilliant. Fantastic. And on that note, yeah. <laughs> That'll, That'll do. Well. Bye. That'll do. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>